it is a seven marks question important a line makes angles theta 1 theta 2 theta 3 and theta 4 with the diagonals of a cube show that cos square theta 1 plus cos square theta 2 plus cos square theta 3 equal to 4 by 3 first we can draw the cube this is the cube figure here a x axis b y axis c z axis yet this is a p point okay it is origin the c image on the opposite it is c dash a is a dash we can take b is b dash here now it is what is the o a b dash c a dash b dash p c dash p like that here we can take let o a b dash c b c dash p a dash b a unit cube we can take it is the unit cube as shown in the figure here along the x axis the unit vector is i that is nothing but o a is equal to i vector o b equal to j vector o c is equal to k vector and r is the position vector that is xi plus yj plus zk it is the ba vector ba unit vector along a line l the line l is this is the line l we can take the line it is the position vector r is the position vector it is for three dimension in the three dimension r is the position vector okay this is the r vector next we can join the b dash vertex also okay here small r vector makes an angles with x axis theta 1 with y axis theta 2 with z axis theta 3 that is nothing but oa op here op is the one vertex that is the makes here we can take theta 1 theta 2 theta 3 and theta 4 with the diagonals diagonals means from origin to p is one diagonal from a to a dash is one diagonal b to b dash is one diagonal c to c dash is one diagonal so here our vector makes an angle or makes an angles theta 1 theta 2 theta 3 and theta 4 with from o to p is one diagonal and a a dash is another diagonal b b dash is another top bottom top bottom like this a a dash b b dash and c c dash respectively here modulus of r vector is equal to under root of x square plus y square plus z square it is the unit vector we are taking let it be 1 why because it is the unit vector now we can find out the diagonals that is a a dash equal to o a dash minus o a here a dash means it is in yz plane yz plane means that is 
J plus K. B dash means it is in XZ plane. So it is I plus K. C dash is in XY plane. That is I plus J. And here OA is along X axis means I. OB is along Y axis means J. OC is along Z axis means K are the unit vectors. Here OA dash is equal to J plus K minus I equal to minus I plus J plus K. In the similar way, BB dash is equal to OB dash minus OB. B dash is I plus K minus J equal to I minus J plus K. CC dash is equal to OC dash minus O C equal to C dash is I plus J minus K is equal to I plus J minus K. Here OP means that is equal to this is OP that is OB dash minus B dash P related with the triangle that is OB dash minus B dash P then it becomes First, we can take OB dash minus B dash P that becomes OP. It's OC, OB, OA. OB dash is nothing but here what is OB dash? This is OB dash is nothing but that is the unit vector that is I plus J plus K. B dash P. B dash P is in Y Z plane and that is the opposite direction. B dash P is the opposite direction. It is we are getting I plus J plus K. Why? Because that OB, OP is in the X, Y, Z plane. So it is I plus J plus K. Why? Because it is the unit vector. OP is the diagonal that is the unit vector that is in the three dimension so it is i plus j plus k okay now we can find out the angles that angles means let r vector with op is equal to theta one r vector with a a dash equal to theta two r vector with b b dash is equal to theta three R vector with C, C dash, theta 4. These are the angles. Here we are find out angle in between of the two vectors means here the cos theta 1 is equal to R vector dot OP vector by modulus of R vector into modulus of OP vector. That is equal to R vector is xi plus yj plus zk dot op vector is i plus j plus k by under root of x square plus y square plus z square under root of 1 square plus 1 square plus 1 square it will be 1 plus 1 plus 1 only. It is equal to x plus y plus z by under root of x square plus y square plus z square is 1 into root 3. It is equal to x plus y plus z by root 3. Next, cos theta 2 is equal to r vector dot a a vector by modulus of r vector into modulus of a a vector. It is equal to xi plus yj plus zk. a a vector is minus i plus j plus k equal to minus x plus y plus z under root of its x square plus y square plus z square under root of 1 plus 1 plus 1. It will be root 3. Next, cos theta 3.
cos theta 3 equal to r vector dot b b dash by mod r vector mod b b dash. Here b b dash means i plus i minus j. That is nothing but similarly we can write it as x minus y plus z by root 3. And cos theta 4 is equal to r vector dot cc dash by mod r vector mod cc dash. It is also equal to cc dash is x plus y minus z by root 3. These are the angles. We can prove that cos square theta 1, cos square theta 2, cos square theta 3 and the cos square theta 4. We are taking cos square theta 1 plus cos square theta 2 plus cos square theta 3 plus cos square theta 4. It is equal to x plus y plus z whole square by 3 plus minus x plus y plus z whole square by 3 plus x minus y plus z whole square by 3 plus x plus y minus z whole square by 3. And the squaring. It is equal to x square plus y square plus z square plus 2xy plus 2yz plus 2zx. In all, this is common 4 into x square plus y square plus z square. In this, minus 2xy plus 2yz minus 2zx minus 2xy minus 2yz plus 2zx plus x 2xy minus 2yz minus 2zx whole by 3. So here plus 2xy minus 2xy plus 2yz minus 2yz plus 2zx minus 2zx minus 2xy plus 2xy minus 2zx plus 2zx minus 2yz plus 2yz. So it is equal to 4 into x square plus y square plus z square by 3. It is equal to 4 by 3. In the question you can you can correct it. Cos square theta 4 is you can add. Therefore cos square theta 1 plus cos square theta 2 plus cos square theta 3 plus cos square theta 4 is equal to 4 by 3. From this relation only we are getting 4 by 3. So in that question you can correct it. Only we can take up to 3 only. You can add it cos square theta 4. Then only we are getting the 4 by 3. Okay.